Now, the last time, to refund the course's distance, last time to refund the course of distance and displacement. Mm, distance and displacement. Lakini vile vile tukaona SI unit ya distance and displacement. Tukasema kwamba SI unit zao mm, nini bwana? Distance displacement SI unit zao nini? Ni mita. Na tukasema ya kwamba Hizi ndiyo concept ya ambazo kijana na bidia zifahamu kwanza kabla haja soma kitu chuchote katika motion. Sasa baada ya kuzifahamu concept hizi mbili muhimu ya distance and displacement, nao inabitu tujifunze kuhusiana speed. Speed. Mm. And velocity. Hizi concept ibana zinaenda sambamba. Hizi concept zinaenda sambamba. Distance na speed, displacement na velocity. Kivi vipana? Speed or velocity? Velocity mm? tells us how an object's position changes in time. Changes in time. An object position changes in time. Object it can be anything. In a way, kawa gariban. Mfano, in gariban. Ini gari. Hmm. Ini gari. Nah ini barabara. At some time. Hmm. At some time. Similar the time T1. At some time. T1. Egal ilikuwa katika point hii bwana. Tunaweza tukaita x1. x1. Mhm. Item 1 yake kwa hapa chini. Time 1. Lakini kadri muda unavyokwenda, hii gari inasogea mbele, linakwenda, lina move. Mhm. Lina change position. Baadaye ile gari ilikuwa huku bwana. Alishora hapa. Hmm. Ligari likafika hapa bana. Hmm. Ligari likafika hapa. Tuite la da pointi hii. Tuite x2. X. Tu. Nona bwana. Na umuda tuwita time tu. Kwa hivyo galeto lima change position. Kwa sababu gani? Mwanzo likuwa katika position hii. Ambo ni x1. Bada ya muda kidogo. Liga katika position hii ambo nini? Ambo ni x. X2. Kwa hivyo tunaweza tukamua ya kwamba. At time t1. Labda ilikuwa ni zero. Zero second. Kusabu hapa ndo tumeanza measurement zetu. Za muda. At time t2. Tuna tukasema labda. Hmm, five second. Five. Five second. Mfano. Kwa hivyo speed and velocity. Zina tusaidia kutueleza. How much object's position was changing. Hmm. The rate at which a body changes its position. The rate at which a body or an object changes its position. Formula. 
Ça va faire mal. Hein? Speed. Et ça va savoir que ça. Distance traveled. Distance. Distance traveled. Hmm. Over. Over time. Over time. Kivipi. Labda tuseme kutoka X1. Mbaka X2. Kulikuwa kuna mita tano. Kulikuwa kuna mita tano. Kwa mana. Jamaa alitembea kwa umbali wa mita ngapi? Wa mita tano. Manake distance travel itakuwa ni mita tano. Na time. Kama hapa palikuwa ni zero second. Kwa mana ndio tilipoanzisha. Stopwatch yetu kwanza kwa sabu muda. Wakati ligali imeanza kwenda. Na hapa ndio time tu yetu ambao ni five second. Manake time from x1 to x2 ilikuwa ni ngapi? Ilikuwa ni five second. Kwa gali ilitumia sekunde tano kutoka point x1 to point, to point x2. Kwa hivyo speed. Itakuwa ni sawa sawa kabisa distance traveled. Kata kisi yetu hii. Ambo tumasema tulita labda mita tano. 5m. 5 mita. Itakuwa 5m. Divide by time. Time. 5 second. 5 second. Sasawa na 1 meter per second. Kwa hii ndo formula ya speed ban. Lakini kama ume, umezingatia mm, distance traveled tulisema mwanzo haiwezi kuwa negative kwa maana is always positive na is a scalar quantity because distance traveled tunaangalia umbali kutoka point moja mpaka point nyingine umbali huwa siku zote ni positive mm, distance siku zote ni positive haina direction kwa maana gani distance is a scalar quantity Lakini tunafahamu pia time ni scalar quantity. Kwa hivyo, speed ni scalar quantity. Is a scalar. Speed is a scalar. Is a scalar quantity. It measures eh, how an object's position changes in time. Scalar. Scalar quantity. That is speed. Lakini vipi kuhusu velocity? Kijana nauliza. Hatuja sahau bani. Kijana nauliza na sito naambia. Hatuja sahau. Sao. Formula. Velocity. Velocity nilikuonyesha hapa inaenda sambamba kabisa na displacement. Hmm. Inaenda sambamba na displacement. Kwa hivyo tasema velocity. Ni sawa sawa kabisa na displacement. Hmm. Over what? Over time taken. Hmm. Over time interval. Time. Okay, v. Time interval. Lakini unakumbua kabisa tulisema ya kwamba displacement kwa sababu ni changing position from final posi from initial position to final position kwa tulikuwa tunaiwakilisha na elufi hii. Kwamba hii ni delta inamanisha change in x. Over time interval change in t. Velocity. Vipi bana? Katika kesi yetu ni kwamba deli letu mwanzo ilikuwa katika position x1 baadaye ilikuwa katika position x2. Hmm. Lakini mwanzo hapa tulisema ni time t1 ambayo tulisema ni 0 second na baadaye ilikuwa ni time t2 ambayo ni 5 second. Kwa hiyo tutasema ya kwamba change in position itakuwa ni sawasawa. Hmm. velocity 
itakuwa ni sawa sawa change in position itakuwa ni x2 manake position hii minus x1 minus x1 ni sawa sawa kabisa na t2 minus minus t1 minus t1 sawa bwana naam kwa hiyo kesi yetu hii tutasema from x1 to x2 manake hapa kulikuwa ni zero labda kwa sababu hapa ndio tulipoanza measurement zetu kutoka hapa mpaka hapa tulisema ni mita tano kwa hivyo x2 minus x1 itakuwa 5 meter velocity sawa sawa kabisa x2 minus x1 maana itakuwa 5m minus 0m 5 meter minus 0 meters time t2 5 second minus 0 second kwa itakuwa ni sawa sawa kabisa na 5 meter over 5 second kwa ni sawa sawa kabisa na 1 meters per second 1 meter per second naam 1 meter per second sasa ndio concept mbili <coughs> concept ya velocity and concept ya speed lakini tulisema speed is a scalar quantity lakini ni velocity kwa sababu ina displacement na displacement tulishasema kwamba ni vector quantity kwa velocity nayo itakuwa ni vector quantity kwa sababu itakuwa ni vector quantity over time ambayo ni scalar quantity kwa velocity is vector is a vector quantity ina maana gani it has magnitude and direction has magnitude and direction Ya yeah. na ile tusaidia sana kadaka kesi mbali mbali mfano mfano mdogo sababu direction sio lazima iwe positive au negative direction si tunajua bwana mm tuseme huko north east naona bwana west south labda kijana anakaa mahala fulani anakaa hapa bwana kijana anakaa hapa mm. kijana anakaa hapa sasa huyu kijana anataka kwenda west huku west kwa maana direction yake from east to west sawa kwa kijana tukwambia bwana kijana tembea tembea kwa speed ya mita moja kwa sekunde moja ndani ya sekunde tano utakuwa umefika mahala fulani Tunaambia kijana atembee kwa speed. Mm. Tunaambia kijana atembee kwa speed. Eh, 5 meter per second. Atembee ndani ya sekunde muda gani bwana? Atembee ndani ya muda wa dakika tano atakuwa amefika mahala fulani. Lakini huyu kijana atajiuliza, "Nitembee 5 meter per second ndani ya dakika tano Sawa. Nitakuwa nimefika mahala fulani. Sawa. Lakini Naelekea upande gani sasa kwa sababu mimi niko hapa mm, na umeniambia nitembee 5 meter per second ndani ya dakika tano sasa speed imetunyima information kuhusu direction kijana anashindwa kujua aelekee wapi ili aweze kufika point ambayo anahitaji kufika sasa tunavyokuja kuzungumzia velocity inakuja kutusaidia inakuja kutusaidia kutupa direction ambapo kijana angeshapewa direction inakuwa wepesi kumsaidia kufika pale ambapo anataka. Kwa tumwambia kijana bwana tembea. Mm. Tembea 5 meters per second. Mm. Ndani ya dakika tano. I mean ndani ya sekunde tano. lakini elekee uelekee wa west. Elekee uelekee wa west. Kwa maana tumempa direction. Kwa okay, kijana sasa hivi anasema aha kumbe. Kwa anatoka hapa anaelekea west. West ni huko bwana. Baada ya sekunde tano kama atakuwa ametembea kwa 5 meters per second itakuwa amefika ile point ambayo anataka kufika. Kwa hivyo velocity inatupa information ambayo speed ilitunyima. 
Mm. Speed ili tunyima information, velocity imekuja imetusaidia kutupa information ya direction ambapo kijana nayo atafahamu elekeo elekeo gani ili aweze kufika katika point anayotaka kufika. 